Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Live. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. In today's video, guys, what we'll be doing, we'll apply, guys, to uh, a Chrysler 200, guys, and Fiat 500 uh, with a 2.4 multi air engine, guys, and other engines as well. So, if you have other engines, procedure probably will be the same, but uh, the engine may look just a little bit different. So, what we'll be doing, guys, today, if you have a uh, engine misfire or a random engine misfire, we'll explain, guys, the top six reasons that can cause that. Make sure you stay until the end because some of the reasons, guys, okay, most people will never think of. Okay, first few ones are super obvious, we'll start with that, but uh, some of them, guys, people never think about that. And as you can see, the engine is out of this car. Uh, we'll have more than 100 videos, guys, on that engine. We removed it so we can show you with great detail how to fix almost anything on it. In addition, every car we get at the shop, we'll be making at least 200 videos, guys. Our mission is to save you as much money as we can. So please subscribe to the channel and like the video. Let's, let us explain now, okay, what we'll be doing here today, guys. If you have a misfire, you may get a code, guys, such as P0301, 302, 303, or 304. The last digit of the code, corresponds to the cylinder number guys and this is the engine okay serpentine bell will be on the passenger side starting on the passenger side you will have guys cylinder number one two three and four so let's say you have a misfire on cylinder number one it will be called p0301 another code that you may get is p0351 and others as well so what is causing now that guys first okay could be bad spark work so bad spark work or a spark work that's wore out, gap is too wide or the wrong kind of spark work installed in your vehicle. We uh, bought spark works that were not the original spark works in the past that were supposedly made for that vehicle, they didn't work out. After the engine warmed up, it started misfiring. So this is your spark work guys and if the gap guys here it's too wide or too narrow, your engine may misfire as well. Usually you will get wide because they do where some so you can get us uh, um, you can see a two gap two and measure your gap guys uh, for the 2.4 multi-air engine it needs to be 1.2 millimeters or 0 0.047 inches so this is reason number one reason number two guys it could be bad ignition coil right here uh, ignition coils are super easy usually to remove we have the vi uh, if you have the video guys every video on that uh, engine will be on the channel how to remove spark plugs, how to remove and replace ignition coils, all that is there if you want to see it from start to finish. It could be a bad ignition coil guys, sometimes they do go bad, but what's another reason that's less obvious? You may have oil in the ignition coil. Okay, we have engine oil in the ignition coil guys. What is causing that now? It's causing it guys a bad valve cover gasket. You have little bitty gaskets around the spark plug holes. And when they get old, crack, fail, okay, you're going to get oil in the spark plug hole. Okay, check it out. This is engine oil, guys. You want to clean that oil as much as you can before you remove the spark plug, okay. And uh, otherwise, okay, your oil will end up in the cylinder. Uh, <laughs> just get a towel, guys, with a screwdriver, stick it in, go around it, clean it. It will take you 5-10 minutes to clean it, but... Let us show you now, okay, right here, how our spark plug has some oil. We already cleaned our some, but you will always have some left. You won't be able to get all of it. Okay, and this is it, guys. You can see, let me focus quick, perfect. You can see spark plug now. So, reason number three, oil. What about, guys, reason number four? If you recently washed your engine, took it to a car wash or something, and you decided to wash your engine, you have seals on the ignition coil right here, but those seals, guys, they're supposed to keep the water out. Okay, but what will happen? Okay, they're not so tight and water may make its, uh, um, its way in, especially if you're using a power washer. So it could be, guys, that. And as a result, guys, uh, water will make you get misfire as well. But let us show you now the valve cover gasket right here, guys. Okay, those are the O-rings on the back side. Those are the gaskets that you need to replace. They will get flat, they will turn hard, they will not seal good, guys. And as a result, you will leak oil in your spark plug holes. So if you have oil in the spark plug holes, it's time for a new valve cover gasket. We have that, guys, on the channel. Check it out. Uh, the whole video from start to finish. So, four reasons. Spark plugs, ignition coil, oil in the spark plug, or water in the uh, ignition coil as well. Could be that. What about reason number five, guys? Reason number five. This is guys having, okay, if you have water in your fuel, fuel line. 
because let's say you got bad gas that had uh, water in it that water will get trapped in the fuel injectors because the fuel injectors cannot uh, spread that water out because the holes are too little and the water is not as thin as gas so we do not go through the fuel injector and you will have a misfire guys so you have to use an additive we have a video how to fix that as well check it out and last reason guys that uh, most people okay never think about that it could be a bad PCV valve most people never replace those and you're supposed to replace them every 30 to 60 thousand miles on most engines this is the crankcase breather valve and if it's stuck open or closed it can severely affect your engine uh, especially if it's stuck open guys what will happen uh, you can guys develop a vacuum leak and that vacuum leak can give you a misfire code that will be super hard to diagnose so we have a video how to test those and see if yours is working or not but if you haven't replaced yours i would recommend to replace it we'll have the links in the description of the video below check it out guys so hopefully the video will be helpful thank you for watching guys please subscribe to the channel and see you guys next time